G'day everyone. This afternoon I've made my way to Lake Buffalo where I'm going kayak fishing for Murray Cod. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now usually when I fish Lake Buffalo I'm targeting redfin. Lake Buffalo is one of my favourite redfin fishing destinations. But over the last few fishing trips here we've been picking up a few Murray Cod. The Victorian Fisheries Authority have been stocking it with Murray Cod. This is the first time ever that I've actually come up here specifically targeting Murray Cod. And I'm going to be doing so from my kayak. Right, now I've decided I want to start with a lure that's hopefully big enough to entice a Murray Cod to strike and small enough that a redfin might hit it. And I've started off with this. This is the smallest size old mate lure, the tiny little old mate. It's a great little yellow belly lure. I reckon a cod will hit it, especially a small cod, and I think a red fin will hit it too. And as it starts getting a bit later on, a bit, the sun gets a bit lower in the sky, I'll upsize to something a bit bigger, a bit more cod specific. <laughs> going for 50 minutes. Now I'm going to turn around and head back but I'm not sure whether to go across towards the island. I like that area, the area out near the island, or to trawl back along the bank that I already fished. Might make my way out towards the island I think. Might just have to reel it in to paddle across the open water. Otherwise my lure might get lost out there, it's so deep. How's that for a view though? Even if you catch nothing, what a great view to fish to. Wow. You could be anywhere in the world looking at that view. Got him. I've got one. I've got, I reckon I've got a small red fin on it. I actually just started trawling a bit faster. I thought I'm going to head into the depths here. I'm going to be trawling across some really deep water. So I've either got to uh, reel it in and paddle across or just trawl a bit quicker. So I thought I'll trawl a bit faster and I just started pedalling a bit faster and I caught this redfin. Not a bad size redfin either. I'm not going to keep him but I could if I wanted to. The little old mate mini. I don't know whether that's what it's called or not but the smallest size old mate lure. What a lovely little red fin. Try and get him on a better light for you. Huh. See you later mate. I just picked up the pace. I came out of that bay and I'm heading for that island over there if you can see it. And I thought I'll just paddle a bit quicker just to cover this sort of no man's land. It's going to be too deep for a fish to see my lure. And then bang. Check this out, my lure keeps fouling up on weed. I'm right out in the middle of the lake. It's not as deep here as you might think. The river runs along that steep bank over there. This is just a big grassy flat. I'm out over the grassy flats. I'll have to try trawling with not so much line out and see if that helps. There's a fish, straight away. Look at that, it must have hit it just under the surface. As soon as it started diving, the fish hit it. This is the moment that started diving, it hooked the fish. <laughs> it hasn't just hooked him, wow, that's engulfed that. Oh, I'm going to get that out, look, easy as that. I just put that back in after fouling up on weed, and it uh, caught a fish straight away. I missed the hook up because I wasn't filming, but I've hooked up to what I suspect is another small redfin. Usually I come up here fishing for redfin and I catch a cod as a bycatch. This time I've come up here fishing for cod and I'm catching redfin as bycatches. Notice though with this bigger lure they're all a little bit bigger fish. None of the real little tiddlers. Yeah mate, get ya rocked. He's not a big fish in saying that, but he's bigger than some of the little ones that I get up here on the, uh, the smaller lures. See you later, mate. That's a 
fish. Got him. Love a little red fin. You know what's remarkable? Oh, I'm catching those red fin with 50 pound line. <laughs> little bit of overkill. <laughs> Mate, you didn't have much chance of breaking my line. Little red fin, see you later, mate. Didn't have much chance of breaking the line, that fish. The small little old mate's catching the red fin, but I'm yet to see a cod. But that's okay, I'm not, uh, I'm not really putting in 100% on the cod at the moment. I will soon as the sun gets a bit lower in the sky. And I've picked up something along here. It's either a smaller Murray cod or a nicer red fin. There you go, it's a, it's a nicer red fin. Still no monster, but a lot bigger than the last one that I caught. Well, I've hooked up here, folks. I feel like it might be a little bit bigger, this one. Or maybe not. He's a lot bigger. If I was, uh, if I had my esky with me, that one would be going in it. I've got it with me, but it's in the car. Not a big fish, but a nice lake buffalo redfin. Check this out, this is the one well lunch. Not the smallest one, the, the mid-sized one. I'm just going to have a few casts with this around this steep bank here. Folks, I've had to change to an entirely different camera. The, uh, I ran out of power. The battery went flat on my DJI Action 2. So I've switched to my old GoPro, my GoPro Hero 9. So the image may look a bit different. The colours might look a bit different or something. The One Well Lunch Purple. I forget the actual name of the colour. But it's the purple one. Folks, I missed the strike, but I've got one on the cast. I've got what I came here for. I got him on the cast. I literally just started casting about five metres back there. Boy, am I glad to see you. There we go. Lovely little Murray cod of around, probably not even 40 centimetres. Caught on the one well lunch in that, whoa, that bluey purpley colour. And he's keen to get going, so I'll unhook him and let him go. Lovely little Murray cod. See you later, mate. I have caught a handful of Murray cod in Lake Buffalo while I've been chasing redfin. But that's the first one that I've ever caught when I've actually been targeting Murray cod. And he's left me in a bit of a predicament here with an epic tangle and I may have to cut that line and retie it. But that's okay, I'm happy with that. What a ripper of an afternoon I've had. Well, I've reached into my tackle box here to grab this little pocket and I have to cut this line. I've had a look at that one well. And the colour is deep purple. Deep purple. 100mm one well lunch in deep purple colour. Smoke on the water, fire in the sky. Da, da, da. It's that magical time of day. The last of the sun is almost gone, and I'm going surface fishing. I'm going to start off with this chase bait smuggler. See how that goes. I wasn't as close to the bank as I was aiming. I've just made my first surface lure change. I just wasn't feeling it with the budgie, I don't know why. So I've gone to the little 70mm Coolabung Cod Walker. Wow. 
my instincts are telling me to crawl again. My crawl is white, one well sumo. Bright white sumo. Do your thing. the bottom there wow one of the reasons I decided to give this little run is because it dives so steep I had a feeling it'll get down nice and deep and it is They must be getting down deep. It's just started swimming freely. And it's touching the bottom again. Jeez. That's a fish. Got him. I'll pick one up. I just turned my camera off thinking I was turning it on. It's only a very small fish, but it might even be a redfin, is it? Oh, there's a redfin or it's a really small Murray cod. It's a small Murray cod. I want to just speak to you for a minute about instincts. My instincts told me to crawl with this white one well sumo. I didn't even know whether I had it in my tackle box or not. So I followed my instincts, crawled about 10 metres and picked up this little weeny Murray cod probably only about 30 centimeters long there you have it folks murray cod number two see you later now i was happy to i was just gonna cast surface lures for the rest of the night i was happy to just uh cast poppies for the rest of the night but my instincts told me to put this lure on i thought i need to troll when i done my uh product review of this lure all these lures the one well sumo i was very impressed with how steep they dived so I thought I was probably going to get down deep, and I've got a couple in there, but my instincts told me to give that, a lure, give that lure a whirl, and it worked. You've got to follow your instincts. I wouldn't have made a dozen casts with that uh, chase bait smuggler, but my instincts told me just to take it off and put the little cooler bug on. You've got to go with your gut. Got him. Oh, that was a nice strike. This one might be a bit bigger. Still not a monster, but uh, bigger than the last one. My guess is probably a 40 centimetre. Oh, as it's getting in a bit closer, I'm thinking maybe not that big. <laughs> it's almost the exact same size as the last one, but it's got a lot of weed around it. The lure must have picked up a bit of weed. Gee, this sumo must be diving down deep. I'm able to unlock that just with my hand. That hook was only just balancing inside that fish's mouth then. He's smaller than the last one. Smaller again. Murray cut number three. See you later. Well, this is what I came here for. The redfin were great fun. I love catching redfin. But the goal, or the target species for this trip, was the Murray Cod. And I've picked up three just on sunset. Just I love trolling cod in a kayak. It's just a surreal feeling. I'm used to redfin just grabbing it and the line starts fl flickering around. But when a cod grabs it, it just goes bang, straight down really fast. That's touching the bottom there now. We're running over a log. 
when your lure runs over structure like that, there's one got him, another one, number four. Just about to say that when your lure runs over structure like that, that means that it's in the zone. Once again, a small one. Victorian fishers have been stocking these in here, and how good is it? Bigger than the last two. Tell me, mate. Tell me. Right, I'll uh, get my fish grips on my plies and send you on your way. Murray Cod, I think it's number four. See you later, mate. I am having a blast. Right now, this is the plan. I'm going to troll my little sumo back to the boat ramp. Then I'm going to get out. Then I'm going to pack up and go home. This is my last trawling run. Just running up over a snag here. I'll let, give some slack to let it float in the hope that uh, it bounces up over the snag and that's exactly what just happened. Got him! Yes! This one might be a little bit bigger with any kind of luck. Certainly, uh, I was going to say, felt like get a bit more weight on him, but yeah, certainly I was wrapped around a stick, that's why. He's not a big fish, but he's bigger. He's out now. But he had me wrapped around a stick. That's why he felt bigger. About the same. the same as the other four or five I think this, I've lost count I've honest to God lost the count I think this is number five thanks another Murray cod I think that's cod number five see you later mate I haven't found any size but I've certainly found the numbers <laughs> a red hot twilight bite well folks the goal today was to go Murray cod fishing at Lake Buffalo Focusing mostly on sunset for the Murray Cod and trying to catch a few redfin while the sun was still up and that's exactly what happened. I had a ripper day on both species. The redfin were quite nice. I certainly could have kept three or four of those fish today if I wanted to. The cod were all small, but what a wonderful time I had catching them. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, want to give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and then hopefully I'll see you in my next video.